Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another episode of Playing for Sushi, uh, life and football here in Japan. Uh, today, I have a, for me, a very special guest. Um, our relationship goes back to when you were, what, about 15? 15, right? Sophomore in high yep, school, right? Year. So this is Kaulana Apelu. He's a linebacker for the Tokyo Gas Creators. And um, yeah, so just to give you guys my background that I know of this guy. He was a running back for Kamehameha, which is a high school in Hawaii. Funny connection is, right? Mm -hmm. My dad, you were, you were a running back, but my dad was your defensive coordinator. Defensive coordinator, yep. And I remember I joined you guys for practice. Mm -hmm. And I just remember seeing, I remember my dad told me, he's like, that, that's the only thing we have on offense. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I remember looking over at you and, you know, yeah. with all respect to your teammates, it was like all these little kids. And then it was just like, you were just like, right. boom, just right. muscle, just everything. Uh -huh. And I think after that year, you know, my dad was like, oh, he had a good season. And then, you know, for me, your story is pretty crazy because you go your high, your high school, your junior, senior year, right? You're, you're probably labeled to be the running back for the state of Hawaii. You blow your ACL out. Yes, sir. Come back. Senior year. Mm -hmm. You blow your other ACL out. Mm -hmm. But then you end up walking onto Oregon and, and probably one of the best viral videos, right, yeah. ever. Right. right with my mom with your mom right, right, right. you're in the middle of practice right you're ready to hit somebody mm -hmm. and you see your mom tell you you're on scholarship right right, right, right. so for me i just kind of wanted like here for that's you know you went you, not only did you change positions but you you went through something at such a young age how has that helped you throughout your career just going through the ACLs, going through the walk-ons, and then mm -hmm. getting that scholarship at Oregon, having a great career at Oregon. Mm -hmm. Like, what, what was that like for you? Where was your mind as a young child just going through all of that? Yeah, um, you said a lot, and there's a lot to be said. And I think it just goes back to kind of, I want to back up to like my childhood. Mm -hmm. um, just in Hawaii, football is huge. Football mm -hmm. is kind, yeah. Of, yeah. kind of like, what you do if oh, you're not yeah. at the beach. Football yeah. is, is your thing. And, and at a young age, I knew I wanted to play football. Mm -hmm. um, my two older brothers play football. My cousins play football. Um, my oldest brother went to St. Louis. He Ooh. graduated 2006. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, I remember going to his, game, or his practices when I was young in elementary school. And he, he's nine years older than I am. And then just from there, I knew I wanted to play football. Mm -hmm. And then Growing up, I played for IL Pop Warner mm -hmm. um, and my little town I grew up in, in IL Hawaii. Um, moving to middle school, I played for my school, like you said, Kamehameha mm -hmm. Middle School, grew up and played in high school. And through those years, I was kind of the, one of the better players on the team. Mm -hmm. I knew deep down football is what I was good at. I knew football is what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And I remember in fifth or sixth grade, you kind of write those notes to the future <laughs> self. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to, right, 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 right. I actually still have mine from the sixth grade. Oh, yeah? yeah, there you go. <laughs> but in mines, I actually put, I wanted to win a state championship for coming out of schools. Mm -hmm. That was probably the only goal I had. I didn't look too much further than that. I didn't think anything past that. So that was really my only goal mm -hmm. and like you said, I get, I had a great sophomore year, sophomore introduction to varsity football. My junior year, I turned my ACL. We had a great, great team that year. Yeah. I kind of brushed it off. Mm -hmm. Senior year, I'm like, okay, this is my year. Yeah. I'm going to get a scholarship somewhere. And first that'll be that. Back. Yeah, first, first game. game back, uh... First game back, we're playing in California. Mm -hmm. We're playing a team called Del Oro, having a good first half. I remember vividly breaking through the hole. I grabbed the ball. I run outside. Could have been like a 60-yard run. Mm -hmm. And then 
the safety starts tracking me down, kind of goes low, tackles me, twists me. And at that moment, I knew I tore my, tore my mm -hmm. knee again. And then I just remember it. Just at a young age, I, I knew discipline and, you know, determination will get me out of things. And like mm -hmm. I said, I, I knew that I would eventually get past that. Mm -hmm. And like you said, I walked on. Yep. I decided to walk on. I had no other options. Mm -hmm. I had to walk on to the University of Oregon or it was the University of Hawaii. And I knew I didn't want to stay home. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to stay home. So I went to Oregon, walked on. Um, Oregon was... Oregon was Oregon. Oregon was Oregon. Exactly. Marcus Mariota, right? Exactly. 808. 808. <laughs> was another crazy thing is, I, don't, I forgot to tell you this. What's up? I forgot this. Your head coach was Tom Helfrich, right? Mark Helfrich. Or Mark Helfrich. Mark Helfrich. Sorry, Mark, yeah, Mark my Helfrich. bad coach. <laughs> he was my OC at Colorado oh, for yeah. three years. Okay. Yeah, he was my yeah. OC, and I forgot that Mark, that yeah, Coach Helfrich went over there. Yeah. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. I forgot because I actually went back and rewatched your video. And I was like, "Oh, he smokes that Helfrich!" Oh, like, yeah. yeah. Like, oh right, right, crap! Right, like, yeah. Like, right. so yeah. I mean, like, crazy. The right. I mean, not only were we from Hawaii, like that's you know, and we. That's the joke, right? Everybody knows everybody. Such we a all seriously. Idea. We all seriously yeah. have right. Like you, you know, I have. Connection is not only to you on Tokyo Gas, right, but to, to your quarterback, Reese, mm -hmm. and to your receiver, Kanavai. Kanavai. Kanavai's Pop Warner coach was my uncle. <laughs> and I yeah. helped Iolani when Reese was the quarterback at Iolani. Mm -hmm. Me and my uncle Chris helped, mm -hmm. with, you know, and, and yeah, and I mean, it's just crazy to see you. Like, like literally, the last time I saw you personally, like, I, and I followed your whole career, like, like I do with a lot of kids from Hawaii. And you, as you get older, you'll see. <laughs> it's something. It just means you're old. It, no, it's not <laughs> old. It's just like I mean, like you know, because nah, nah, nah. how you talked about right, Hawaii yeah. in Hawaii, right, high school football and stuff like that, right? Was always the first question. What high school did you go to, right? No, no. Oh, yeah, ah, yeah you know, yeah, 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 hey, you yeah, went yeah, to yeah. Kamehameha, or you went to St. Louis, right? Your brother went to St. Louis. You go to Kamehameha. That's mm -hmm. that's big rivals in Hawaii. I went to Kahuku, which is, is the famous school, yeah, like right, right. right, right. And, same thing, right? Everybody sees here's just my high school's name and they have associated with football. Mm -hmm. But just seeing your career go and things like that. And then after Oregon, you played for the Dresden Monarchs, right? Mm -hmm. In the GFL. Mm -hmm. How long did you and how long did you play there? I played in the German football league for one year. For in twenty twenty one, last year. Okay. Actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and now you're here in Japan playing for the Tokyo Gas. Yes. So you're you're only about halfway through your first season right now. Right. Yeah. What, for you, what are the differences with German, the German league and here in the X league? What, what are the differences or similarities you see as far as maybe just the way the game's played, the game's taught, mm -hmm. competition and things like that? Mm -hmm. um, I've played, I actually played a German team and we kind of beat them pretty easily. Uh -huh. But I'm just curious. Do you what, remember? It was, it was so... So uh, my former team played, so Obik played Dresden the year before I joined. Okay. In 2012, oh, I think it was the spring of 2012, okay. they played D Dresden. Mm -hmm. And my second year in the spring of 2013, we went to Düsseldorf and played the uh, Panthers. Panthers. Yep. And we beat them like 30 something to like three. Uh -huh. And I didn't even play, but like, no, I was hurt. I had an injury in my foot and stuff like that. But, but what, what, what is the, you yeah. know, you're, you're, you're one year there and when you're here, mm -hmm. kind of just speak yeah, about Yeah, there's that. a lot of similarities and a lot of differences, I would say. Um, a lot of the similarities are, are as in, as an American, you kind of go to these other countries and you, you don't know what to expect. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's one of the biggest things I learned is to just be open minded. You're kind mm -hmm. of going into a, another country with different norms and values than you're used to. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that I, I, I try to just have with and know in the back of my mind is to be open minded. Things may be different. Things may be the same. But in terms of football, football is football. It's relatively yep. the yep. same yep. Um, all over. X's but and O's is all the same language. Exactly. And outside of football lifestyle culture mm -hmm. kind of food things like that are are, are different mm -hmm. and things like that i think you just adjust to as as you stay mm -hmm. but in terms of football wise um 
things are similar, but there's also the differences as well because of the language barrier. Mm -hmm. People don't fully understand till you're somewhere where they don't speak your language. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just interesting to, to see different perspectives yeah. in, in coaching, mm -hmm. um, the position coaches and, and their philosophies and their, their ways of connecting with players and how they think versus how you think. And, and that's what I've, I feel like I've gotten a hold of better mm -hmm. as I've been in different countries, mm -hmm. but yeah, it, there's similarities and differences, like you said, and, and, and I think just being an open sponge to it all helps, helps me. Yeah, and I think, so like me, I didn't, I had a hard time adjusting to Japan in the sense of just like, I'm from the, like, literally the country, right? right? right like, right. you know, you're from my era, which is a comparative to me, comparative to where I lived and I only live a 20, 30 minute drive <laughs> yeah, from where yeah, you yeah, live. Yeah, yeah. Like it's a different world. And then I came, you know, like I think did, did growing up in Hawaii and us having, us in Hawaii having such Asian influence, right? Mm -hmm. We, we grew up eating with chopsticks, right? We take our, like sushi, fish. right? Sushi, fish, like all mm -hmm. of that, right? Like the raw fish and everything like that. Us taking our shoes off when we come into the house, mm -hmm. right? Like I grew up thinking that was a Hawaiian thing. Right, right, right. You know, like I grew up that being normal. Um, do you think any of that, the way we grew up, helped you transition to- No doubt what you're going through no right doubt, now. No doubt. I think in Hawaii, there's a lot of Japanese influence. Mm -hmm. Like you said, food, culture, um, norms, yeah. like you said. And I think it just helps a little bit because like you said, it's normal to us. So when we see it, you don't- Yeah, you don't, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. question it. It's like, oh, that's normal to me. Yeah. So to bank off your question, I don't think those things really got to me as much as mm -hmm. I think it would. Mm -hmm. because in Hawaii, there's so many different cultures and Japanese a big influence. Yeah. So Yeah, right, because like, I, we grew up, right, and it's like everything's been written in English. Right. The next thing is Japanese, yeah. Chinese, Korean, right? Pigeon, yeah. Yeah, and then when I go, when like I went to college, right, and probably similar to you when you went to Oregon, right, mm -hmm. it's like everything was English and then Spanish. Right, right, right. And then that was like backwards for me. I'm like, wait, what? Like mm -hmm. Spanish. And it's so, like a, whoa. yeah, like, wait, what, you know? And so now you're, you're going through your first year, right? Your, right. your experiences and things like that. You've had one win that, or one, sorry, not one win. You've had one game where complete blow up, right? You know, tough, mm -hmm. that's tough to take. Mm -hmm. And I was even tougher to take is probably these, you had the last close, game. you've had two close losses. Mm -hmm. And your opinion, what? Tokyo gas in, in my eyes, Tokyo gas is not that far away. You know, what are, what are some of the things that you think that, that Tokyo gas needs to take the steps? What, what steps do they need to take to, to start to compete with, with the Fujitsu, with the Panasonic, with the Obik and start to, you know, mm -hmm. really compete throughout the league, mm -hmm. you know, cause I, I, you guys are like right there. Mm -hmm. You know, what are some of the things you think? Like you said, um, it's my first year, so I can't mm -hmm. really, it's it's hard for me to to compare it to something else. Okay. Let's yeah. say last year, the years before. Mm -hmm. So this first year that, that I'm here, I think it's such a short season, yeah? Yeah. And I'm trying to implement and Five learn season, and yeah. help, mm -hmm. right? Five game season. So mm -hmm. I think with such a short short season, there's so much to do. Mm -hmm. And I think in our specific situation, we just gotta work on getting better each week mm -hmm. and i think this is what that's what this team has been doing nobody's oh, yeah. given yeah. up yeah. nobody's kind of mm -hmm. threw in the towel when things don't go right we're sitting at zero and three right now yeah. we're, we're winless and i think one of the biggest takeaways is we've gotten better every week from fujitsu to yeah i'll see challengers yeah. to yeah. Opec. we've just made a lot i mean on the defensive side i, I play defense so i speak mm -hmm. on on that side um We've, you know, when I say get better, I mean, you know, minimize mental errors, mm -hmm. physical mistakes, mm -hmm. be where we need to be and, and kind of climb to get better in, in those respects because mm -hmm. that's how you get better, right? And yeah, I think yeah. just taking the little steps to, to have to work together and... Yeah, I mean, like, like right. I watch, I go back and I, 
you know, I, I pretty much watch every game. Mm -hmm. And I try to just watch the little things as, you know, now I'm doing this show, I, I do some other stuff and too. And I mean, I just love football, right? Right, right, right. For me, you guys were two plays away from beating the talent challengers mm -hmm. and maybe two or three plays away from beating Obik. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, yeah, like you said, right? It's those little things and, I, and I'm watching you guys and, and I see right, just right, how much right. you guys are working. And I see the influence you have too, you know? And I think for me, I played here for so long right. and you being from Hawaii, you know, you guys are like, you know, obviously you guys hold a special place in my heart because I want to see you guys. I, we're from the same place. Right, right, right. Hawaii is such a different place in, right? Like it, it's funny we're in a sense of, we, always, we were talking about earlier, right? Like, mm -hmm. oh, what high school did you go to and mm -hmm. things like that. But when it's like, it, it truly is. And that, there's that saying, right? Hawaii versus everybody right. and things like that. And I think Hawaii is such a place like, once you hear somebody, you're outside of Hawaii, right? And you find somebody from Hawaii. Mm -hmm. It's just like, hey, boom, automatic, right? right? Like, hey, yeah. we're friends. Mm -hmm. You know, we got each other's backs and stuff like that. And, and I've just been watching you play and you've been flying all around the mm -hmm. field. You know, you had, you had a great game last game. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm watching you from the stands and I'm like, dang. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, the way you're going right now and you're trending and stuff like that. Do you have, for the rest of the season, right? You said you guys are 0-3. Mm -hmm. What are some goals you have for yourself? What right. are some goals you have for your unit, your team? You know, right. what are some things you want to finish out strong, right? It's a good question. You know, yeah. you, I think the biggest thing for me is just to, like you said, um, I'm very passionate about football. Mm -hmm. And then the biggest thing I have for, like you said, goals for these next two games, I think just to impact and influence my teammates in a positive way to, because I, I know I've, I've played division one, I've played over overseas a little bit. And, and I know that some of my teammates, they look up to me and want to ask me questions and mm -hmm. want to kind of pick my brain. And that's something I think goes a long way. Yeah. Something so small goes a long way. And, and that's the impact I want to have on my teammates is just something positive, something they can can leave with them, while, whether I'm on Tokyo Gas or not on Tokyo Gas. Yeah. yeah, just something I can impact people's lives and my teammates' lives in a way that I would want somebody to impact me. Mm -hmm. um, I can't control what what goes on in these next two games. Yep. And, and I think that's something I can control is to, to be my best and do my best to be the best teammate I can be. Yeah. Yeah. All right on. And I mean, just, you know, keep, yeah, I mean, like I, I see, you know, and I, I had a similar, you know, and I, we talked, you know, before the season began, right? Right. And I gave you the advice, you know, yeah, you might not be able to speak the language, mm -hmm. but if you just kind of go out there and be like, this is how you do it. You know, you lead by example, those things mm -hmm. like that. And, you know, you're doing those things. And I, like, I, you know, and I'm partial to defense. Right, you know, right, I played, right, 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 played right. defense all my life. So when I see somebody, side, you know, you, yeah. like, yeah, like you, you went in like Superman on that field goal mm -hmm. block, right? And it was kind of funny. I was That's like, I was, <laughs> yeah, and I'm sitting up in the stands and I was kind of like, oh, wow. Like, yeah. you got some hops. <laughs> So the knees yeah. must be not, you know, the knees are still yeah, good. Yeah, then. yeah, top shape, top <laughs> shape, top shape. You know, um, and just one last thing, you know, for, you know, this, this show, with this show, I really, I really want to help push, you know, I've been here for 10 years. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm very grateful that Japan has football. Mm -hmm. I'm very grateful. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I honestly don't know what trajectory my life would have went had I not had these opportunities. Right. Um, I probably wouldn't have met my wife. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have my kids right now. And it all because of a game. And this game is, you know, and I, I, I tell a lot of people this game, this game can do one of two things to you. It can shape you or mm -hmm. it can destroy you. Mm -hmm. And I always tell people, use football as your tool. You know, um, I wanted to travel the world, right? I used football. Because of football, I've been to Japan, I've been to Germany, mm -hmm. I've been to uh, the Netherlands, I've been to Australia, yep. um, planning to try and go. I've been all, all across Japan mm -hmm. um, because of a game, you know. With your experiences and, your, and, and the stories and your background and just the, the struggles you've gone through, mm -hmm. 
what are some things that what are some steps that you think Japan needs to take to to really step it to show itself? I I believe in Japan's you know level of football. Like right. when we said the GFL, and with all due respect to the GFL,、mm-hmm. I think the X League is better. Okay. Yeah. And no, and that's that's my opinion. Right, that's right, my right. opinion. And just you know, yeah, I, I, I think re- I really want to help show that the Japan world、ball. that Japan has football players, great, great football players. I、so、agree. Where, where do you, if you have anything that you would want to share, to help maybe step、yeah. that in、okay. the future? Um, I think the first step is to to have a to build a foundation like like this、mm-hmm. to to promote what is going on,、mm-hmm. especially. One of the best players to ever come out of Japan starts,、mm-hmm. helps, <laughs> helps do something to kind of recognize、mm-hmm. recognize this league and and first and foremost that's that's a great start and I think this is a great league. There's、mm-hmm. there's great、um, commitment by everyone in、mm-hmm. this league from refs to officials to sponsorships、mm-hmm. to to every one higher. It's,、mm-hmm. it, it's a great league and I think. The future is is very bright for this league, and and I think people like you and maybe previous players that have played in this league, you guys, we can get this thing on on a on a worldwide level,、mm-hmm. like you said. And there's very good football in this league. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh,、um, rather just. I, yeah, you're you're fresh off, not to use the joke, right? But you're fresh off the boat、yeah. to, to the league. <laughs> um, yeah, but you're doing、year. you're doing awesome.、Mm-hmm. I think you know you could have a long career here. I want I want to see you have a long career here.、Mm-hmm. I'm enjoying watching you play. Thank you. I'm watching you enjoy smacking people. I mean, you know,、yeah. um, try to take it easy a little bit. <laughs> no, <Nah, laughs> you're still young,、yeah. man. Just hey, have at it, because I did it until I was 34. Yeah. I mean now, yeah. Now I can wake up on Mondays. I don't, you know, wait, I'm I good. I don't, I, yeah. I can just roll can out of bed. Now, yeah, yeah. When when I was playing, it was a lot of, oh, you know, bone and groan. I had to like move my neck, move、yeah. my chest. Yeah, it was a lot of that.、Mm-hmm. But now, you know, now、nah, now I'm I'm good. I can roll out of bed a lot、mm-hmm. easier. But just you know, I wanted to tell you, just keep playing, man. Just keep playing like how you playing. Keep playing with that passion. Keep playing with that fire. Thank you. You know, keep leading by example and. You know, I'm gonna keep watching you. I'm gonna keep cheering for you. You know, like I said, you Hawaii boys have a, a special place in my heart, and I just want to see you guys succeed. I want to see everybody succeed.、Right. So, you know, I appreciate you taking this time out, you know, to come talk with me and just、mm-hmm. share your story, and just keep building on that right, legend, right, man. Right. You know, you got you you have a you have a. From your high school career to now, man, you have a, an amazing story, and just keep on going, my man. Thank you, thank yeah, you for having me, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you.、Um, first, I just want to give a thank you to Bountiful Cafe here in Shinrayasu for having us.、Um, this is a cafe that I probably visit maybe once or twice a week.、Uh, it's a really great place, great atmosphere, as you guys can see in the videos.、Um, they have great espressos, lattes. They have smoothies.、Um, they have seasonal menus. And if you guys are ever out in the area for Disneyland, just in in area in general,、um, I highly recommend it. And again, thank you, Bountiful Cafe, for having us.